part two. Um, all right, so uh, you guys recently came out with your own line of coffee, and uh, coming soon is the uh, the Feel This IPA. Yeah. Um, the beer. How much input do you guys actually have in that? Like the branding and the actual tasting of the product. And... Uh, they, uh, both both the coffee company and the beer company had sent us a bunch of samples, which, is, you know, it's kind of the one of the the, uh, the extra bonuses of, of you know being involved in that. It's like we get some free uh, some free samples out of it. Um, so yeah, we, they they had sent us. Uh, for the coffee, they'd sent us some roastings that they'd done, and hey, what about this one? Hey, what about this one? And we, we tend to be really focused on the extremely dark roasted stuff, and we and they were they were more of an artisan coffee place, and so we kind of met them halfway. Like, they came in with more of an artisan kind of roast, but we're, and we kept saying, well, something darker, please. And so we, but I think there was there was a certain amount of meeting each other halfway for that. But for the for the beer part of it, McKellar, I've loved, you know, McKellar beer. And they sent us a bunch of, uh, we wanted it to be a coffee beer, and they sent us a bunch of, of samples of stuff that they'd done in the past that were kind of of that flavor. And, you know, I just had thumbs up for all of it. Uh, and then uh, when we were in uh, San Francisco not so long ago, we went to the McKe McKellar, like, brew pub or whatever. And it just kind of, you know, solidified, you know, my confidence that they could do something good. And, and I've tasted the beer, and it's pretty top-notch. Well, everyone's stoked to try it, so... Yeah. Um, you guys are kind of, you know, uh, considered like the godfathers of pop punk. I'm um, looking back now. I mean, uh, so many of the bands you guys influenced. Um, do, you, do you see the influence? And uh, how does that feel to see so many of these bands just really successful? You know, Blue Night Two, Green Day, New Found Glory, Jawbreaker. So many bands that kind of were influenced by your sound. I mean, when I, when I when when Blink and Green Day first came out, I was I you know I was a big fan. I mean, from the very beginning, I I, I liked what they did. I mean, I kind of saw it as like you know the next kind of evolution of of what we were doing and but they just you know obviously they're just so uh they're such great uh you know musicians and and great songwriters so i i was you know i was pretty much a, a fan of both those bands uh you know back back in that at that point um so i i, I kind of have a you know i have a different perspective on it because i wasn't back when those bands were actually starting out or back when they got kind of started to explode as bands I wasn't even a musician at that point. I wasn't even involved in the music scene, so I could tr come at it completely unbiased, you know, as just a fan of, of that kind of music. And I'm always going to be a fan of pop punk, you know, probably go to my grave, you know, listening to pop punk music. So I that that kind of made it a little easier for me to just kind of embrace what they were doing and not have some kind of, you know, whatever you want to call it, like a, a territoriality about it or anything like that. Because I just thought that they they had a real good take on that whole genre. I mean, and we we kind of obviously influenced bands like them, but we were obviously influenced by bands that came before us. So I kind of I kind of feel pretty comfortable just being that link in the chain, from going from bands like the Buzzcocks or you know uh, the Ramones to to, to bands like uh, you know Green Day and Blink. So that's perfectly fine for me. Cool. I saw you rocking out to uh, Touche Amore before here. Um, is there any kind of current bands that you listen to in the scene, or, or is your music uh, taste a little bit different now? Uh, I still, like I said, I, I still like a lot of pop punk. Some of the recent pop punk bands that I've really liked a lot is like Joyce Manor, I really liked. Um, there's a band called the Menzingers that, from the East Coast that, uh, you know, I think do a good take on that as well. Um, so, I mean, I, I think. You know, I've probably expanded to liking, you know, a lot of different kinds of stuff, but I'll always return to just, you know, the, the pop punk stuff because it just, it sounds so uh, comfortable to me.